I reached one month before the university started. So it is actually advisable to reach early because you have to get the visa stamped and things like that. And there are certain procedures that you have to finish. So uh, during the orientation, they uh, give you advice on if you haven't really found an accommodation. Sometimes you get a temporary accommodation like for a month or something. And then when you don't really have a longer duration accommodation, you just take that. So after that, you need to find for accommodation. They kind of like help you with it. And uh, they tell you like how to access the online platform where you can choose your courses and all that. Diversity of the class and the size actually I think it depends upon the course. It would be like about 25 people at the max. Indians, there are actually only two in my class out of 25. The best all were Germans and two, three were Chinese. For the classes, everybody speaks English and because these are English taught, everybody speaks in English but I would still say that it is better to know German because Germans would speak in German so if you know German, you also like get inside their group. I don't have any prior experience but there were a lot of people who had like about 2-3 years also had the experience in the core field whereas some people had experience in for example computer field which is not very related to the course. So micro and nano electronics is like um, you design the chips for computers, the electronic circuit and then you are taught how to fabricate them in lab and it's actually quite diverse. You learn the fabrication, the circuit design, the controls of it, and then even communication, telecommunication, and such circuits. This course covers a lot of physics. So compared to the other specializations, you have power engineering, which is like power related. And then you have control systems, and then uh, automation and robotics. So now like everything is online, but the first semester was offline. So like online classes, it all depends upon how many courses you take, but then generally your classes start at 8.30 and some courses go on to 5. You have four courses that you have to complete and uh, you are given three attempts that you make and total credit points that you need to complete the course would be 120 credits and each course that you take would be for 4 credits and then in my course you also have to do an internship which is compulsory so you can do an internship before the thesis or you can do it after the thesis In the online format, some courses were pre-recorded and we just have to watch them and you just mail the professor if you have doubts and some courses were live. You can take uh, two courses from other departments. So the structure of the course is like basically up to you but it is advisable to complete all the prerequisite courses and the core courses first. Generally people don't really clear it in the first attempt so it is better to like take the core courses and the prerequisite courses like first and then go to the elective courses. The elective courses are kind of simpler compared to the core and the prerequisite. Under each department, there are specializations. The specializations are split into further specializations. So they are called as institutes. 
so like in my thing there is fabrication an institute entirely for fabrication an institute entirely for vlsi an institute entirely for signals and control so under each institute you have projects so you can choose between any of the institutes and select a project